how long did it take you to kind of uh, gain that confidence? And were there any um, sort of uh, tips to, let's say, another young um, person, maybe in their 20s, suddenly mm-hmm. join Google? They're probably yeah. feeling the same thing or anywhere, actually, any company. Like, how did you gain that confidence? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the first few months I was really focused on, like, what do I have to learn to be successful and all of that? Like, what, you know, how how will I make this work? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's a job and I'm trying to stay employed and I'm trying to make it all work. Um, and really quickly, I tried to find, you know, people that could mentor me, um, kind of show me the ropes a little bit of how things work at a big company like this. Um, additionally, just trying to baseline and figure out like, okay, what do I actually know? What do I think I'm actually good at? Like, where do I think I can contribute most quickly just to kind of feel some level of productivity? Um, But then like genuinely, what are the things I don't know? And how do I actually, you know, how should I go about learning those and kind of working through those problems? Um, A lot of the folks I mentor these days are new college grads who have been, you know, with us for only maybe a month or a few months. um, And all of them have the same, they all come to me with the same sort of issues, which is like, I feel like I'm drinking from a fire hose. I don't feel productive at all. Like how, you know, when does this get better? Um, and I always just tell them like, you know, okay, A, take it easy. Like it's not, re- relax a little bit. This isn't college. Like you have some time to figure <laughs> things out. There's no, you know, there's no exam coming up or anything. Um, but secondly, like, you know, all right, like take some time to absorb as much as you can. Like you are drinking from a fire hose, try to retain some of that stuff. Don't just try to jump to the next thing. Um, And B, like it'll probably be three months until you actually feel like you're actually contributing. So like set that timer for yourself. Like, all right, the first month is going to be like just reading documentation, watching videos internally, talking to people, reading code, looking at diagrams, like just familiarizing yourself. Right. Um, and the next couple of months, okay, maybe you're going to start to make some some bigger changes to the software, try to improve things, you know, you're going to try to be involved in projects and so on. Um, but if you try to do like what's supposed to be done three to months from now today, because you mm. feel that pressure, like you're just going to yeah. struggle. Um, and I see a lot of junior engineers that just show up and like, are like, how do I start contributing code? And it's like, it's not that easy. Like it takes a minute. Um, so I think, yeah, just... Trying to alleviate as much of that pressure as possible. It's kind of yeah. The Familiarize and be patient with yourself, and then kind of take it once, but right. was at some milestones, I guess. Yeah, like figure out where you are, understand your surroundings, and then figure out like okay, now with a clear head and a general understanding of how our system works and how our software functions, like how can I contribute to that now? <laughs> 